we're in. We're into Rock Slide. That was the final game in the GL set. And this is the first game here. We've got Nikov over here playing as the Bengalis. We have MBL playing as the Gajaras. Bengalis should be pretty good on this map. Gajaras, as we've seen before, are pretty good on this map. And then against them, we have Saracens for Yo and Huns for the V. <clears throat> the V. And usually, Yo is playing with Licks in 2v2 tournaments. This time, he's playing with Vivi. And I don't think we've watched Yo and Vivi throughout this process, but they're doing fairly well. They should still be... Well, I don't know if they're favored here. Maybe by, like, a couple percentages. Maybe 51% 200kg and 49% outposts and fun to win this one. So really, really solid chances coming in. Saracens and Huns can make something happen for sure. Please don't just attack that. That villager will die if you do, Vivi. Okay. Don't, Vivi. Doc over here for MBL. As he's going to try and collect the shorefish. To the stock, and he can garrison his fishing ships. Can't garrison the villagers inside of the. Ow! I really hurt my hand there. <laughs> that was the most predictable thing of all time. And you can't even with Huns. You can't even look at that and be like, "Well, at least I won't get housed." There's no upside to that. Oh my god. Well, he got the boar in. Anyway. Loom is coming in for everybody. It's going to be Yo, the first player on the way to Feudal Age. And I, I, I don't think Vivi told Yo about that. I don't think he told him about it. What are the odds that Vivi told Yo he just lost a villager there? Probably fairly low. <laughs> Probably fairly low. <laughs> he definitely didn't say, and he's sending four villagers forward. Could have been five if she had survived, but he's going to keep some additional ones at home, and he's going to send these guys out all the way where? Just straight out. Let's see if Nikov can, uh, can spot these. Knew about the scout hanging around this area. Nikov will go for the second dock. And Nikov is going to be playing water control. And I wonder what Vivi's plan is. Maybe a tower over here that looks likely. Right? He's looping all the way around. He's going to ignore the water. And he's just going to try and cut off the gold supply. Which you have to go out to. Because there's no gold in this middle area. So you have to stretch out for this gold. And yeah. Barracks. Archery range, potentially, probably stable, unless he wants to put these vills on gold. And Nikov has found it. Nikov's seen it. He sees the barracks. He knows what's coming. Maybe just a couple galleys on the water to control this area to help protect his gold. And you might even want to go for a, a, a tower initially. And there we go. Nikov goes for the tower right away. He's not waiting around. He saw the barracks. He knows what's coming. And he puts the tower in a position where Vivi can't really cut off this gold with a tower of his own. And he can protect the water on this side with the galleys. It almost might be worth, since you know your opponent is likely not going water control, a couple galleys will give you water control over here and deny the berries. Longtime viewers will know exactly where I'm going with this. But after the first two galleys, it, it, it will be worth making a demo. You wall this. You wall here. And then you wall to the shoreline and you make a demo. Vivi will try to come around. He's actually looping around this way. And that tower position from Nikov means that there's really nowhere that Vivi can go for a tower here to cut off this gold. Except if he's going to go like over here, which can then be hit by the galleys. Do we hide the demo behind the rock? No, there, you don't get complicated. Galleys are looping this way. Let's take a look at this side where all the action's going on. 
We've got archer range for both MBL and Yo. And MBL never needs an excuse to go skirmishers. He's going to make him right now. He's going to go for a tower over here near the gold. Really hard for Yo to loop around and make a tower over here. So this is a great tower. It kind of secures the water as well. And then he can mine that gold. Right now he's being pretty stingy with his gold supply because he's only got 50. And Nikov has made another tower on this side. He actually bought the stone for that tower. And he denies the tower from Vivi. And Vivi will keep looping. And now Nikov has to let MBL know <laughs> that Vivi might potentially be coming over to his side. Potentially. Yeah. Good pressure here from Nikov on the berries from Vivi. Yo is playing as the Saracen, so his archers will do more damage against buildings. He can use that market too, and he's already got a market up at home. And Vivi is going to be taking the safest gold possible, which is right in between Nikov and MBL's bases. He's had previous problems with wildlife in this set, but... Looks like he'll be dealing with that wolf just fine. Demo would have gone hard here. And yeah, they they know that the army is over here. MBL's kind of defending himself over on this side. Fire galley and tower, in addition to the skirmishers coming out. In addition to the one fishing ship that he made. And he's going to send his army to this side just to clear up this stuff from Vivi. Meanwhile, Vivi is chopping through to the stone. Now, that is unusual at this stage of the game. Nikov just now getting double bit axe. Everybody else in the game has it, but better late than never. And he also has hand card already. So, Nikov's eco is going to be pretty good here. That is very interesting. And now he's now he's going for a mining camp. Are we going to see, like, a castle drop? Or is it a Tarkin? It, surely it isn't a Tarkin play. We'll try spinning. That's a good trick. Surely it isn't a Tarkin play. He was trying to get up to Castle Age. Fire galleys here from MBL. Two galleys as well from Nikov. They should be able to push this back. Fishing ship still doing work. Still bringing in a little bit of food. And the dock has been discovered over on this side. MBL just trying to stall that out for as long as possible. Fire galley over here from Nikov. And the villager goes down. Vivi will lose another villager, and he might lose more. The skirmishers are here. He's trying to complete this tower. They're going to kill that villager very slowly, but they will get her before the tower goes up, and they might get her as well. They don't. Vivi runs away. Vivi is not taking gold right now. And the skirms did get that villager and the dock is still denied and Nikov's trying to take out that foundation while he can just to remove the headache of having a dock behind his uh, his position surely it isn't Tarkin's yeah I don't think it's Tarkin's Yo is also chopping through to try and get to the stone NBL and Nikov have shown no interest in that and now we have fires coming out over here. So Yo will need to abandon the shorefish on the side. And he's going to pull away now. Kind of weird to have Yo and blue, isn't it? Should be blue and red for Yo and Vivi. Or sorry, uh, yeah, blue and red. Yo being red and Vivi being blue. Not a lot happening right now. It's kind of water control here for MBL and for Nikov. And it's a stable behind from Vivi, and he's going into scouts. Castle Age is on the way for both of the 200 kilogram players. Castle Age is on the way for both of our outposts and fun players. Nikov, when he gets to Castle Age, will get an additional two villagers. He already got two before. 
And that's why he's got 39 bills here. He has the villager lead in this game. MBL is tied with him for the time being. And MBL going into a second stable. So he's likely going to make Shervamshas. You haven't really seen any cavalry from Yo, so I don't know if you open camels here. And he's not queuing up camel scouts. So it's probably Shavamsha. Seems like a solid bet, right? War Galley is on the way for Yo. Saracen Galleys do attack faster. War Galley will make everything stronger on the water. And now it's a fire ship versus a fire galley, so MBL needs to retreat a little bit. MBL queuing up Shravamshas from both stables. He's going for a monastery. He's got a spearman here and a tower to help out. So Yo needs to pull that away. And meanwhile, forward. Just a couple scouts here from Vivi. But Nikov has wisely walled up his gold villagers. And he should wall up these villagers on the TC too. Noodles or soup? No, noodles or salad, dude. Come on now. Ah! She's dead. And he deleted the wall too. But there's two towers there, so coming in with the scouts, maybe not the best plan of all time. Mangano forward, now pressuring Vivi. And Bengali monks will be really, really tough for Vivi to deal with, especially due to the fact that his scouts were forward. But he's got the light cav upgrade and he's bringing them back. He is bringing them back. He's also adding a TC down here. Yo going for his third TC, so the eco expansion is happening earlier. For 200 kilogram. And there's another TC over here for Vivi. He's got a lot of spearmen to deal with. He takes out one Mangano, but that's it. And now the light cab is stuck. And he barely manages to escape. Vivi trying to push this back. Any idea why my resub message isn't popping up? I have no idea. How could noodles be set? We're talking about noodles as a dish, not as a singular ingredient. This monk is a problem. Monk is a big problem here for Vivi. His stable is forward. And now Shravamshas are over here from MBL. Mr. Yo is back here with some archers. He's going to miss the villagers coming up for that TC. Those are actually Vivi's villagers. <laughs> what? Is it going to be a fourth DC over here for Vivi? What on earth? Vivi is just booming up with the Huns. And look at this. Yo is here to deny this TC. Tower attempt from Vivi. He's going to try and quick wall this. Needs to delete that though. And the TC will go up from MBL over here. As we see now two town centers for Nikov. And Nikov continues pushing. And he's walled in Vivi. Little does he know. <laughs> He's still got stuff over here. He's got stuff over here. His villagers died on this side, unfortunately. But uh, he's just trying to run away. And he goes for a second town center. Noodles are soup, right? No, noodles are salad, dude. MBL just has skirms. He's defending himself over here. He's going for two more TCs. And... I think right now the, the main concern in this game is the fact that Vivi's farm eco is completely shut off. He's going to have to add in farm eco on the additional TCs, and that's going to take a long time. Noodle soup is a soup, Dave. You're drunk. It can be a soup, but most of the time it's a salad. That TC is not going to be denied. Nikov. Second wood upgrade, farm upgrade. I keep getting confused because I think earlier in the game I said Nikop was Vikings. I get it confused with Tato from last game who was playing in the same spot. He has been galleys though. I was just about to say he has wheelbarrow and handcart, but he doesn't. He's not Vikings. There's no Vikings here. Caster confusion. That's what we call that. Good conversion there from Yo. NBL's trying to get a conversion too, but he doesn't get it. Monk goes down to the war galley. 
Vivi is still dying. Yo is here to back him up, but Nikov has pushed so deep into this base that Yo can't help. And this is a terrible situation here for Vivi. Nikov is just repairing the damage the villagers are doing to these mangonels. The spearmen are clearing up the villagers from behind. The monks are here ready to convert as soon as they have enough faith. And the attack grounds are coming in, and Vivi is down to 27 villagers. And if you look on the other side, Nikov has 74. Wait, so ramen is salad? Yeah, ramen is salad. Ramen can occasionally be a sandwich, though. <clears throat> Saracens. Faster attacking galleys, like I said. And Yo is trying to take advantage of that. So he's got galleys over on the side. And Nikov's still trying to expand over here. Nikov is doing what Vivi was trying to do. Which is just making TCs everywhere. And expanding his eco as much as he can. But he's also pushing forward here. And Vivi is just in a really rough position. Yo is going to have to carry this one. Is Yo in a carry position? 89 villagers. The most in the game. And Pyril Age is on the way. If you take control of the water fully, it can be really, really dangerous on this map. Water gives you a ton of map control. And, oh, I love this from Nikov. He's going to make the pathing out of here so difficult with this barracks. And Vivi just deletes the market. And he misses. <laughs> and Nikov stole all the farms. <sighs> Vivi is at 29 villagers. It just hasn't gone according to plan, that's for sure. And MBL is here too, and it's time to just give up this area. Delete all the farms, please. Delete every single farm, please. You can't kill Bengali monks with bills. And every single villager conversion you give is just another villager in the Nikov economy. And he's going to take all your farms, bro. Delete all the farms. He's going to take all of them. He's taking them. He's stealing the farms. There we go. Okay. Farms are gone now. Meanwhile, over here, MBL trying to defend with demos. Not the time or the place. I do like keeping them garrison in here, though, because Yo will need to push pretty aggressively. And Yo is going to go into camels, it looks like. Is he? Husbandry's on the way. Imperial Age is coming in. Okay, one more camel queued. I was wondering about those upgrades for Yo. He almost has enough stone for the first castle of the game. If he still has two town centers, but only 24 vills. Total villager count here, if we're comparing teams, is not looking good. Yo takes out a monk. He will take out another monk. And he'll take out these mangonels, and then he can start working away on the Shavamshas. Shavamshas do dodge the galley bolts, but they're doing damage very, very slowly. So he should win this fight eventually. It's still not pretty, though, and Yo will go for a forward castle in the middle of MBL's base. MBL, you have some demos. You can get at least four villagers here. At least. And he'll go for a castle of his own. Looks like. Why is he deleting this? He just deleted a vill. Pog? <laughs> Why? <laughs> so many camels. Saracen camels. Heavy camel rider is in. How much HP do these things have now? 170. They are very, very tanky. Also, this is the Imp TC. This is the MTC. There are still demolition ships inside of this dock. And Yo will be focusing his trebs over here. 
He'll be going after the field. Probably the tower. As MBL tries to make camels of his own. Kajaras ex have extra damage on their camels. Vivi trying for a... Vivi failing a castle drop. Kajara camels should do okay. There's more demos, man. Bait him back into the water. Kajara camels should do okay, but I think Saracens win the 1v1 now with the extra HP. Could be wrong. Once Frontier Guards is in, it, it, it probably is very different. But I think just heavy camel versus heavy camel, Saracens might win. Kajara still win. Okay, never mind. It's not enough. Nice demos. TC finally falls. Man, if Yo went after that TC first, could have had a situation where MBL never gets him. But on this side, I mean, it's so clearly favored for Nikov, right? Nikov's got 150 vils. He's getting wheelbarrow. He's going to go into elephant archers. Nice demo there from the villagers. And Vivi is just simply not part of this game. 29 villagers only. Like, we're going to get to a point soon where Nikov's going to delete 29 villagers. Good raids here from Yo. NBL's still at 96 vils. It's going to be a lot less soon with these raids coming in. But... Vivi's running away. And Yo is very used to this, civil or this situation. He plays with licks all the time. He's used to his partner having, like, less than 20 villagers in Imperial Age. The difference is that licks usually completely nukes whoever he's against. And maybe even both players. It makes it difficult for them. It hasn't happened here. Vivi got found out early. And Lix will be running right through, or sorry, Vivi will be running right through the eco here. From Yo. Coinage coming in for Yo. So, Yo is not only going to fight this side, he's also going to be slinging his teammate back into the game. MBL still with 73 bills. Nikov, lots of res in the bank. And it's like, how do you stop the Elephant Archer mass? It feels like Nikov should be going Galleons right here. I think Nikov should be adding in Navy, but... He's going to be running into pop space issues. Saracens win in Castle Age and Impets 50 50 until Frontier Guards. Then Gajaras always win. Okay. Does Nikov have Maya Mahayana? I don't think so. Man, Yo's got an impressive push over against MBL. And Nikov is just so slow with this comp, right? He killed Vivi. Vivi is completely out of this game. It is a full 1v2. But it's been very slow to advance against Yo's side. Camels are still here from MBL, but look at the amount of camels from Yo. Incredible camel production here from Yo. Even banking coming in for him. Very rare technology as Yo attempts to wall up. He knows he needs to slow this down as much as possible. Keep flooding in from this side. MBL is now down to 59 villagers. At least he's got some units to help out. But not even Elite Elephant Archer yet from Nikov. Yo could turn this around, guys. Yo could win this 1v2 against Nikov and MBL. New Saracen Camels are going god mode. Yo is Yo. Yo is him.
Camel's denying the castle. Camel's pushing over here. There's 70 camels. An elite elephant archer is on the way for Nika. And Vivi is getting back into the game. We might see a situation at some point in this game where Vivi has more villagers than MBL. And that is the elite elephant archer. No, dude. Yo, he's going to win this 1v2. Oh, no, the Elite Elephant Archer Archery Range went down. MBL adding more stables. Nikov adding more Archery Ranges. Where is this one? It's at the back, wisely. We don't have Halbs. No Halb potential for MBL. Nikov is not teching into it. 140 villagers. Elephant archers are incredibly expensive, and he needs to get the camels in front. MBL is trying to pat them in front so the elephant archers can do work behind that. But Yo doesn't care. He's got 75 Saracen camels. He just simply doesn't care, and he's pushing on both sides. Yo is going to win this 1v2. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. What a god. What an absolute god. Why aren't they making help? Because Nikov thought the game was won. He completely killed this guy. He was going into Elephant Archer, his ultimate composition, because he had 150 villagers. And now he can't afford to spend res on anything else. He just needs to commit on the Elephant Archers. And he's going to lose. Oh, he's going to lose so much. Oh, he's going to lose so much. Oh my god, dude. Yo is crazy. Also, I have to... I, I, I think that they're... You know, this Saracen camel change is still relatively new. They're stronger than they've ever been. I think they underestimated the pure camel spam from Yo. Vivi is now booming from four TCs. MBL is at 52 bills. Vivi will surpass him soon. Yo has also, behind this insane camel spam, has been sending res to Vivi. It is not just a 2v1. It is almost a, a, a 3v1 because Vivi is sucking his res away from him. 5,200 resources sent by Yo to Vivi, and Vivi is on the way to M, and MBL is down to 31 bills. This is one of the most incredible, I'll do it myself moments I've ever seen in Age of Empires. What on earth? And there's another castle from Yo. And he's in the zone right now. He is so deep in that zone, you have no idea. How many elephant archers? Only eight for Nikov. They know it's over, but they don't want to call it. They know it's done, and he's losing more vills. Eco KD, how many villagers has Yo killed? 100? 200? 166. Vivi killed one. Oh my god. That's wild. Camels here from MBL. Still trying to defend the sides. MBL is trying to reboom. He's not going to give up easy. Vivi's at 67 villagers. Might as well add Mamluks. Don't change anything. Do not change anything that you are doing right now. The Halb switch. Uh, GG called. Un incredible, incredible carry from Yo. Holy, what a carry. Nikov fully killed Vivi. And MBL was helping against Vivi. So I guess Vivi was kind of distracting both of them. Um, but Yo with the Saracens just had an insane boom. Insane Imperial Age time, really used the market, and then this castle.
enabled everything, and he went immediately into the camel spam. And the Saracen camels were just too powerful. MBL can't make anything better than Spearman. He, his eco died, so trying to produce camels is very, very difficult. Um, Nikov probably needed to tech into Halb earlier, but like I said, it was a tough situation for him. He didn't want to spend the res on it. He wanted to make more elephant archers. But yeah, Halb probably should have come in earlier. I think Nikov should have gone navy. Instead of elephant archer. He had already killed uh, Vivi. So you can go navy and Halb instead of elephant archer. And I'm not certain if Yo can deal with that. Camels do all right for ships, but if you have a mass of galleons and then some halves, it's going to be really tough. And I think that's cheaper than trying to make the switch into Elephant Archer. That was insane. You can't say Vivi bought Yo a ton of time. He bought him some time. He bought him, I mean, Yo didn't even see Nikov. Until he was fully boom spamming camels. So Vivi did buy him a ton of time against Nikov. Not so much against MBL. Wow, dude. Yo is incredible. Look at this KD here. Disgusting. Eco for Yo. Disgusting as well. Jesus. Should Nikov have gone Halb instead of Elephant Archer? Yeah, making the switch into Halb once you're producing Elephant Archers is really tough. But I think Halb is a better, is a better option. Because, like, if you're fighting up against Camels from the Saracens, Halb is perfect, right? Halb is great. Elephant Archer, you have to get the mass up before you can fully contest those Camels. And in order to counter Halb, what does Yo go for? He goes for archers? That's fine. That's fine. You're, you're 2v1. MBL can go for Shravamshas if he's going archers. Halb counters the most dangerous composition from Yo. But like I said, it was a weird state of the game. Vivi was completely out of it. And... Nikov probably thought that there was no way they were losing that. Insane, dude. Saracens was the final pick, too. Saracens and Huns. I don't think they expected to win that game. They used their final two picks. Loss for Fingalis, loss for Gajaras. I think they were just like, yeah, these civs are all right. Yeah, I think Halb Navy is probably the best way to go there for Nico. Now we know why Yo doesn't resign. Yeah. That was wild, bro. That was like... Like I said, one of the best 1v2s I've seen. One of the best carries I've seen. We are back. Gotta get another cup of coffee. They're in the lobby right now. Outpost and fun are going to need to mentally recover from that one. Holy. Your mom groped me two Halloweens ago. Shut the fuck up or I'll take it to Twitter.
Okay, we're in. <clears throat> Soon. Yep, it's gonna be Arena. It's gonna be Arena. NBL and Nika versus Yo and Vivi. And, well, interesting civilizations here. 200 kilograms have slabs for Vivi and cumins for Yo. So the cumin booming is gonna happen for Mr. Yo. Cumins. Not quite as powerful on Team Game Arena as they might be on 1v1, but you can still get an insane boom with them, right? One of, probably the best booming sieve on Arena. Uh, MBL has gone for the Goths, which is interesting, but Goths have a pretty good economy with the more food they get from the hunt, which is really, really valuable. And their late game can be difficult to stop. Unfortunately for the Goths, the slabs completely counter them, it feels like. <laughs> what to do against Boyar? Hmm. <laughs> we don't really know. Slabs kind of kill Goths a little bit. But we'll see what MBL has in store. Nikov is playing as the Spanish here. And if Nikov... No, I will prefer over Twitch. Undefeated Bison. Monkey. I won't stream on YouTube as well. Um, Yo might be in trouble if Nikov tries for like a castle drop or something. Could be problematic. Right? You can interrupt that cumin boom. Spanish can be very, very strong. I just wonder about the Goss pick here. I wonder about it. MBL maybe just wants to boom. Go 5 TC or something. Who knows? Boyar don't counter help. They do when you have Siege behind him. Also, Halb's not going to kill buildings and stuff. But, yeah, there's there's options. Like, Goss can kind of work around it, right? It's still not going to be easy. Latest counter everything? True. Drazina Halb? Yeah, Drazina Halb will beat Goth Halb. Drazina Champions will beat Goth Champions. Slavs are kind of one of the counters to Goths. Like Slavs, Celts, Teutons. They're all up there, right? Hello, is this MYI? It's not MYI, Bullet. You can go to a different set. Sorry. Feudal so Age on the way for Yo. 19 you. villagers. That is a 9 villager start, so this is two more vills than you'd normally see. Uh, with someone going for this fast feudal approach with the cumins. Gonna finish pushing in his deer, and he's actually got a lot of space back here. I think the TC should probably go up on the stone. I'm kind of hesitant to say right here because a castle drop could range that. Or mangonels or whatever, so maybe back here. We'll see, though. He's got a wonderful map. Like, back secondary gold, back main gold. Stone is pretty far back, and there's a lot of space for activities back here. Maybe he doesn't have the greatest map, but he probably won't be castle forwarded. And MBL's got a wonderful map, too. Really good map for MBL. Holy. Beautiful. Is the Tattoo Tower Rush with humans on Arena viable in team games? Not really. Not really. You can do it, but then you're completely ignoring the potential of the opponent's ally <laughs> coming in, right? So you can do it as long as your ally is also pressuring and, and holding map control. But it doesn't have quite the same effect because you, you're not controlling 50% of the other team of the opponent's teammate. Are you a rat? Because you sound like one. No, I'm not a rat, Bullet. Are you a cute Swiss boy? Because you sound like one. All in for 200 kilogram? Quest for 1 million points. Okay. What food is a rat? Single ingredient. 
Okay, so the villager count will climb for Mr. Yo. It should be 10 plus ahead by the time they get to Castle Age, right? 15, maybe even. But the resources collected will be equal at that point. It takes time for the villagers to start collecting res and for that to be directly reflected. And remember, he spent a lot of time building this second TC. And that was time where he wasn't collecting resources. So right now his eco is actually worse than the opponent's. If you reverse engineer tar, you would end up with a wrath. Ah, yes. Similar to the Peru-Europe situation. I agree with that. Do Kipchaks still suck? Kipchaks have their uses. They are not as good as people think they are. And that's why I say they suck. They are... A lot of the time, the best thing that humans could do, but I think that just shows the lack of options in the human tech tree. Okay, Market Blacksmith for Nikov, Market Blacksmith for MBL, and I think MBL is just going to boom. I think he's just thinking about booming. No wood upgrade for Vivi. Need to think about that, my dude. There it is right there. Perfect. Can't Nikov just castle drop and kill Yo with conks? That's what he's going to try and do. Potentially. He has to w worry about Vivi, but I think that's what he's probably going to do. He has not gotten Loom yet. Does he have it queued up? He doesn't. So the castle might just go back here, and we might see a similar situation to what ACCM did when he was teamed with Slam. Um, he made the first castle back. He, like, deleted a few walls, made the castle here, went for Conks, and then a forward follow-up castle. I think against Cumans, you kind of want that first one forward, though. You can see Nikov and MBL tracking the scouts in the middle, and they see a second scout from Vivi, so the castle's going to have to be defensive because there's simply too many scouts on the field. Vivi will try and block the monks from grabbing the relics. He's going to try and contest the middle. However, with conks there and potentially with a follow-up monastery here from Nikov, they should be able to grab quite a few of these. Unfortunately for Nikov and MBL, Yo is booming. Big time. 45 villagers for him. MBL will go for two additional TCs. He'll likely mine this stone and try and get a fourth and fifth one up pretty quickly. Already has the second wood upgrade. Already has the second farm upgrade too. He's got a lot of food in the bank too. Doss help a lot with that. Extra 20% on all your hunt. It adds up, right? It's an extra few villagers in the early stages of Castle Age here. Where you would normally have to idle your TCs or maybe even buy food. Beautiful balance here from MBL. Nice boom. You can see it, he had exactly enough gold to go up to Castle H. Zero gold in the bank. So he's not having any overflow or anything like that. And the petards are coming out from Nikov. So it's going to be petards... To break into the base, does he want to go after Mr. Yo or does he want to go after Vivi? Probably Yo. God, Conks, hit your shots. All right, MBL. Let's see a beautiful boom here, dude. Let's just see the most beautiful boom of all time. We saw it from Slam the other day. We want to see it from you. Already having 21 farm, 22 farms placed with heavy plow is kind of insane. Let's take a look at the idle TC. Eight seconds. That's pretty good. Is it Threeville or Nineville start? Nineville start. On this. Is this Dave F or mine? That's you. 
Zero drop frames. We're back. Yeah, Twitch is... Guys, once again, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do about it. Twitch is bugging out big time. Recently. Petards are in. Don't hit that. No, Petard. Do not hit the other wall. God, this guy's dumb. And the conks are coming in, but there's a house wall behind. Castle Age is about to be in for Mr. Yo. He's on stone too, so he could maybe go for a defensive castle right here. And bop. Putting that up. And MBL goes for the fourth town center. 13 seconds only. A vital TC time here for MBL. It's going to be an insane boom. It's going to be an absolutely insane boom there for MBL. Let's hope Yo doesn't mess up too many kip checks. Looking at the relic collection, we've got another relic potentially coming in here for Nikov. He's trying to run away from the scouts. It doesn't work out. And good job from Vivi to control that. Also, Slav Monks, very quick, right? Very, very fast. And Vivi already has a relic here. And he's going to be running towards that. Very, very quick. 0.84 speed. Monk hoofing it. Yep. I get up. Four in the morning. I run. <laughs> Gotta get to the mall. For the seniors discount. God damn teenagers. He's dead. <clears throat> Wheelbarrow. On the way. For Vivi. Two relics in already. Let's take a look at the idle TC time here from MBL. 18 seconds. MBL is at 69 villagers. It's an incredibly nice boom. He's just surpassed Yo in the villager count. He already has hand card as well. Oh my god. I know MBL is the, is the player who's doing the least here. But that's a sick boom. That is a disgusting boom. All of the eco upgrades are in. 39 farms. Look at the farm count for Yo. 26. 18 seconds of idle TC time here. As Nikov is trying to hold this middle area. Let's take a look at the resources from MBL. They're flying in. And he's going to hit him pretty soon. Total res collected should be in favor of Yo. But MBL is right behind the cumin boom. And he's going to surpass him soon. Uh-oh. 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 Neek off. Neek off. Neek off. Neek off. Neek off. Gets away. <laughs> oh, man. That could have been a situation where Vivi converts five cocks and he gets away. Oh, my God. And now Vivi is coming out to put pressure on MBL, but MBL going for a defensive castle. They know the risk. Like, we don't see Goths at a high level. Well, we're seeing them more now, but historically not very often. It's because they struggle in the early game. They're still very, very strong if if we go late. They know that MBL is a ticking time bomb. He is a nuclear device that is set to blow shortly. And they need to stall that out. Meanwhile, Yo trying to come out here. Nikov. Denying this. Doesn't have enough conks to take out those Kipchaks just yet. And he's trying to bring the relics back. He got two of them. Anarchy on the way. Armor on the way. More barracks incoming from MBL. And MBL hasn't seen this castle yet. But the monks drive him away from this area. So he's going to delete those barracks. Be careful deleting stone walls with Goss. Because you simply can't replace them. And Kip checks. Take out one conk. Castle trying to come up. The advantage Kip checks have over conks is that they actually hit their shots. If he stands still, though, he won't be able to fight up against them for very long. Huskarls. 
Vivi on the way up to Imperial Age. Vivi is going to be going into champions. And the Husk girls are immediately coming over to this side. And uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Yo! There's trouble on the horizon, my friend. Extra arrows will be pretty good here in comparison to other range units against Husk girls. But still, it's going to be a, uh, a ugly situation for him. MBL just now getting that second armor upgrade. Perfusion should come in shortly. He doesn't want to push the castle yet. And he gets to the Imperial Age at the same time as Vivi. MBL also going for chemistry, iron casting. Trebuchet on the way. Still has the best eco in the game. MBL. He's got plenty of resources here. And there it is. Perfusion. Oh boy. Oh god. Second armor upgrade is in. Oh jeez. Now, if Vivi ever gets fully teched into Drazina with champions... MBL is going to have some problems. They need to start pressuring Yo and forcing Vivi to come over here. And MBL also needs to expand and build production buildings over here, which he's doing. Elite Huskarl coming in now. That castle... It's going to get trebbed down eventually. It's going to get trebbed down. Nikov needs to get up to Imp. He needs to start supporting his teammate a little bit. He's been carrying through Castle H here. But we need Trebs, Bomber Cannon, Siege over on this side. Huskarls being microed down because of the amount of arrows from the Kipchaks. And MBL just doesn't have enough Huskarls over there. But he does have Perfusion now. So maybe there's a chance for him to just run in. I don't like this, man. He just completely ignored Vivi. He tried to go over to Yo. He didn't dive against Yo. Completely ignored Vivi, and now he's going to be fighting up against champions with double castle stack. Treb's pushing in. And these Husk girls are three-shotting the Kipchaks, but you can't send them in two at a time. And if he ever gets into the eco, MBL is in big, big trouble. Big trouble. Bombard cannons coming out from MBL. Leak Conquistador needs to come in for Nikov. If they could perform like a side switch here, Spanish would be really, really good. Against Slavs. Oh, MBL is going to take up this castle foundation. Really nice. Really, really solid. And now the conks are coming over. And the husk girls are engaging. I don't think Drazina is in. So these husk girls will actually be doing okay against the two-handed swordsman. And they're going to clean up this army. And then maybe the trebs with the help of the conks from behind. Looks like it. But on the other side, Yo is pushing in. And MBL doesn't really have a lot of infantry here. Resources are struggling for him. The units almost produce too fast. They die too quickly. Elite Kong still not in for Nikov. He's getting fletching. For what? And this should be game here for Yo and Vivi. Slavs versus Goss, just not the matchup you want. Redemption's in here for these monks. They're super quick, but the Huskar manages to take those out. Loom coming in now for MBL. Imagine not getting Loom with Goss. And his farm eco is going to be taken out over here.
Kip Jack's pushing in. Nikop doesn't have anything. He's going to lead skirm. That's a bad sign. Should be 2 nothing for 200 uh, kg. Should be 2 nothing here, folks. No pressure on the Cumans really early. They you let Yo get into the Kipchak, Treb, composition. I hate the fact it's working, but it is a pretty good unit up against Conks. Once you get all the upgrades. And there's simply no Conks on the field. Why didn't MBL go champion? Why didn't MBL just push in here with his Husk Girls? That's a question we need to answer. Vivi did wonderful work. Yeah, this double castle stack completely killed all of their options, for sure. Why can't Dave just admit Kippies are good? I don't know, man. Why can't, why can't I just admit it? What have Kipchak's done to you? What it haven't they done for me is the question. Nice micro here from Yo. Extra arrows, not caring about that armor from the Goss. The castle is almost going down here from Yo, but Drazina's coming in and MBL Zico is dead. It was such a beautiful boom at the beginning. His Zico is going to be dead. Wonderful job from Vivi. GG should be flying in here shortly and then. Outposts and Fun are going to need to overcome a 2-0 lead for 200 kilograms. Damn, dude. You can't leave the humans alone, it feels like. Also, great job from Yo to wall up with houses behind here. Like, Nikov went for the, um, the petards early, got in, and then just couldn't. Didn't do anything. For Kip checks, you need micro. Okay. That is rough. I think, like, the boom was great for MBL, but we question the Civ choice. Goss on Arena. Maybe they didn't expect Slavs to come out here? Slavs just kind of counter everything Goss can do. Really rough situation. For uh, outposts and fun. Gosco hand cannon. Okay. And then Slavs go siege. So then you're defending with hand cannon, bombard cannon. Slavs have siege and Drazina infantry in front and cheaper castles. I don't think you're picking Goss on Arena to go hand cannon. Like, it doesn't really provide anything for your team. And monks, yeah. All right. Loss in arena. We got water nomad and nomad. Ooh. And I think Yo and Vivi will play water nomad the way I, 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 I want it to be played. With sneaky docks and whatnot. All right. Um, they have two nomads and wasted Spanish on arena. True. True. Loss for Spanish. Loss for Goss. Win for Slavs and win for the Cubans. Damn, look at how low these Civ picks are too. Vietnamese is still available. Persian's still available. Dravidian's still available. Berber's available. Byzantines available, Armenians, like great water civilizations here too for um, Yo and Vivi. Hmm. Rough 
situation for sure. They should expect to lose the Nomads? No, I don't think that's how you should approach that set. You're not that much of an underdog on Nomad. They will play Armenians on Water Nomad for the demo bonus. It's more for the second projectile from your galleys, honestly. Your cart kind of great on Water Nomad too, maybe. It's amazing to me how Chinese players are so good on Nomad, while GL, for example, usually loses on it. I I don't I don't agree with that statement. I mean, they are good on Nomad, but I wouldn't agree that GL generally loses it, like... Tattoos are... Tato is okay, but the others are not... What are you smoking, dude? You on, like, crack or cocaine or what's going on? Viper's a better Nomad player than Tato, probably. It's weird. Oh well. Just my opinion and view, yeah. All right, Water Nomad coming up. Who's the guy? Where's the guy that said we won't see Water Nomad? There's no way we'll see Water Nomad. Who's that guy? Is that because uh, Outpost and Fun have picked it? Expect you will cast Magical Duo against GL. Yeah. They got to win it anyway. If they want to win the set, they got to win no Water Nomad. So they're probably like, let's just get this over with. The Water Nomad meta is just Galley Wars. And Nikoff and MBL have gone Viking and Malay with that in mind. Yo and Vivi have Persians and Dravidians. Very, very strong. Were you always a Dave or have you evolved from a David? I introduce myself as David like 90% of the time. Obviously not online because people know me as Dave. Um, but people still call me Dave. Like if I introduce myself to a new person as David, I'd say 80% of the time they will start calling me Dave. Which is very frustrating. But it is what it is. Can't get away from it. What was the first name? Or what was the first map? Rock Slide. All right, we have our correspondent on the field, Jassar. <clears throat> Jassar is back. We've been wondering about you, Jassar. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Jassar, we appreciate you. We're, we're glad that you're safe. Uh, he has an advanced look at the battlefield here. And Jassar is saying, saying, I see lots of water and blue lines of the water. Hard-hitting reporting coming from Jassar. We thought he was gone, but he's back. Thank you, Jassar. I hope you're not writing up all the travel expenses to our account, Jassar. Because w technically you're not an employee anymore. Regardless. Here we are, game number three, and it's on a Nomad map, but it's Water Nomad, so it's a very different type of Nomad. As we see, 
all the players starting with nine vills and six fishing ships. And Yo has made his TC in the south here. Vivi is going to make his TC also in the south. And the MBL is over to the left side. And Nikov is up here in the north with the Vikings. So very long distances between them. MBL and Vivi are the closest ones. And usually the TCs are a lot closer than this. Vivi to Water Nomad. Jassar is saying that there is a fly on him. We have not yet identified what type of fly it is. We, we are praying for uh, the safety of Jassar. Is it a malaria fly? We are unclear whether the fly has diseases or not. That's a really great pond for Nikov. Usually the ponds only have like one or two deep fish in there. That's four deep fish in that pond right next to his sound center. So wonderful uh, dock spot here for Nikov. Yo and Vivi having Dravidians is going to be super helpful, right? They don't have to build as many houses. They can just make the docks right away. But the Viking team bonus is also useful. They will save a little bit of wood on each one of the docks. For MBL and Nikov, and it looks like MBL has all of his fish in a wonderful pond as well. Four fish in here, and they're right next to the dock. God, the efficiency on these guys. Oh my god. 95% in the last minute. Lots of food coming in for MBL. And there's a potential for him to click up quite quickly with Malay. He's got both his Dark Age buildings. If he uncues these vills, he can go up really, really quickly. And he does. And he's going to. 14 villager click up. Potentially from MBL. Yo has already gone up with Persians. Expect that. Start with a little bit of extra resources at the beginning. And he's finding all of these nice little water buffalo. You should never have a lack of food on Water Nomad. There's so many water buffalo around. You can see pairs of two. There, you start with the fishing ships as well. You should never be idling your TC. Another dock here from Yo for one deep fish. Their pawns are definitely not as good as the pawns from Outpost and Fun. Look at the, this pawn from Vivi was... <laughs> it was the first one he saw, okay? It was the first one he saw. MBO will be the first to Feudal Age. I want a demo. I want a demo first. I want a demo before anything else. He's going to go galleys, but I want a demo. Do it for me. One galley only. And a fire galley. <sighs> Nick up. Setting up another dock here. We'll be in Feudal Age in 15 seconds. Jassar coming back to us now. He said, I see lots of beautiful corner on this map. And uh, we have to agree with you, Jassar. Beautiful corners all around on the map. Good eye there, Jassar. Thank you for uh, your continued work in the field. Jassar recently nominated for uh, International Journalism Award. Who is Jassa? We don't know. But we know who Jassar is. Fire Galley now hitting the dock here from Vivi. And MBL now pushing a little bit deeper with his navy. He's going to try and find some value around this area. Yo is coming out with his galleys. Nikov's got to be careful with that. Because Yo is being awfully sneaky. Can Yo see where the base from Nikov is? He doesn't fully know. He knows there's houses here, and he must suspect that there's, like, a TC around here somewhere. It's not. What about MBL and Nikop? They can see that there's stuff over here. Nikop, if he manages to fully wall this, we'll, be, we'll have a really good setup at the back. Really, really good setup. And he spotted the galleys from Yo. So, beautiful defense here from Nikov. 
If this goes into the Castle Age, MBL and Nikov should have the advantage here, right? Longboats are going to be crazy. The cheaper ships are going to be crazy for Nikov. But MBL will need to defend first. And the galleys are coming in. MBL still has this navy at the back. Which can be really, really nice. And Fletching is now coming in as MBL takes all of the water buffalo. And runs away. He's trying to defend on this side too. And he's losing a galley. Almost. And he's been cut off the gold. Villager goes down. MBL. Might be taking out a fishing ship. Doesn't quite. Really didn't do that much damage with this Navy coming forward. However, Nikov is doing a good job defending on this side. As Yo comes back across... And MBL is going to get hit on the gold here again. He might lose another villager. He will. And MBL is kind of being doubled right now. But Nikov is here defending him. Remember that MBL had a little bit of a villager advantage earlier from going up faster. So he still has the most villagers in the game. Even though he's lost two. Three. Two. And he's still got seven galleys. His dock positioning is suboptimal for gathering his units, though. He's got a dock over here, dock over here, dock over here, wood line in the middle. If Yo and Vivi are present near his docks, they can cut off all the reinforcements as they come out. Wonderful wall here from Nikov, as I said before. Still some deep fish in the back there that he can take, too. Really, really nice. Nikov has wheelbarrow, so his eco is kind of really good behind this. As MBL goes for a tower now. MBL. Trying to micro against this. Couple weak galleys in there. But a bunch of weak galleys here for Vivi as well. And MBL, you gotta run with the Vils, bro. You gotta run with the Vils, dude. He tried to get the tower up in time. Couldn't quite do it. They do have a bunch of kills on that army there from Vivi, but MBL is now losing fish because Yo is over here too. And Vivi is still running around in MBL's base. MBL said 26 villagers, so he's not too far behind. But it feels like he's lost a lot. It feels like he's lost a ton. And he's been denied off that gold for a very long period of time. By Vivi. Takes out another galley. 11 galleys for him. 11 galleys for Vivi too. Bunch of weak ones back here for MBL. But Nikov still pushing forward. Yo, trying to find value against Nikov's base. Villager has handcart. She can't outpace the ships though. And Nikov will be forced to defend. But he is over here and he is sniping the fish now from Mr. Yo. Really good pressure from both Yo and Nikov on this side. As MBL and, Nik and uh, Vivi still have their little 1v1 in the center. Galley's pushing in. Nikov wisely leaving with his villagers. And now he's losing his fishing ships. As Yo is really deep. Inside of his base. Look at the way these water buffalo have lined up. That's like what? Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. Couldn't get the wall up in time. You should just come in here under Yo's TC and snipe Vils. Honestly. Yo is going up to Castle H. Damn, dude. Is Nikov close? Not really. Yo is going up to Castle H. MBL is pushing in. And Yo is still in the back of Nikov's eco with more galleys. What can Nikov do? He needs to do something. He needs to do some damage. Vivi. Pretty secure over there if Nikov doesn't want to dive under a TC. Yo, really secure over here too. 
Is the galley the only choice here, or are there land units that make- Land units don't do anything against navy in Feudal Age, really. Resources, looking good for Vivi, not looking great for Nikov. This raid from Yo was so brutal. Definitely needed to wall in front of the TC here. And the galleys just slip out. Oh, that's so frustrating. MBL's trying to look for a way in. He is trying to look for a way in. Not a single demo produced this game. And Castle Age is in now for Mr. Yo. He's going to go War Galley. He could start making fire ships as well. Um, obviously, you want to you wanna keep your mass growing with the War Galleys. But against Feudal Age opponents, fire ships could be really solid. Castle Age is on the way for Nikov too. And he's got 23 Galleys versus 11 from Yo. And MBL is over here too. If MBL comes over here... At the same time, Nikov is trying to micro this stuff down. He could find a lot of value. MBL is pushing in. MBL is pushing in. MBL is pushing in. Some retribution here. Some revenge. Killing some villagers from Mr. Yo. One, two, three, four. And now Vivi is here. A lot of weak galleys here for Vivi. A lot of weak galleys, and he loses a bunch. He's on the way to Castle Age. MBL could be thinking about buying himself up shortly. As Nikov pushes over this way, and Nikov is only 40 seconds away from Castle Age. War galleys are in the center here for Yo. Ballistics is on the way. Market is being put up from MBL. And MBL is still pressuring with the galleys on this side. And Vivi has been in a little bit of trouble recently. MBL's done a pretty good job to recover from that early pressure. And they're still distracting Yo before these war galleys can come forward. Still keeping him busy. Galley mass is back here for Nikov as he waits for the war galley upgrade. Needs Bodkin too. Doesn't quite have the res for it just yet. Or galley's pushing out. Not a great fight for Yo. Not good at all. And now Nikov can turn around and say, Hey, what's up, dude? You want to fight? He's going to keep adding war galleys. I wonder if he makes the switch to longboats at any point. I don't think so. Not yet, at least. Keep it up with the long or with the war galleys for the time being. MBL. Thinking about Castle Age. He'll be up really quickly with Malay. So he's not far as far behind as you might think. 42 villagers for him. 40 for Vivi. 39 for Yo. And we got 38 here for Nikov. But he does have Wheelbarrow and Handcart on his vills. This is the point where I would love to see a sneak villager just come over here, make a dock, and then stream demos into the golds. <laughs> It would be Pog. It absolutely would be Pog. Or one demo from this. Yo is Yo is being sneaky. Yo is being very sneaky. And Yo is maneuvering around this way with the war galleys. Malay line of sight on the docks will mean that they spot that fairly quickly as it comes in. But they're very, very preoccupied with what's going on in the center area here. As we see what's going on in the center area. Vivi's losing ships again. Only 12 war galleys for him. 26 war galleys for Yo. And Yo is pushing around this way. And MBL is getting to the castle age. So war galley comes in for him. Bod Canero. As Yo continues to try and be sneaky. MBL has to wait for the war galley upgrade really. See Yo and Nikov both trying to dodge ballistics, and this is going to be a tough fight for Nikov to disengage from. The pathing is going to be really rough here. He does well to get out of that. MBL is saying, wait, 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 wait. Nikov backs up. And now MBL is going to think about coming in. He doesn't yet. 
As the war galleys make their way all the way over here. Oh my god. Yo is crazy, isn't he? He's just ignored MBL's base, and he comes all the way over to Nikov's gold with those war galleys. He looped along the edge of the map all the way up here. It's just an added distraction for Nikov to try and deal with. Can he kill the university? No. Yo's Navy is here. University won't go down, but MBL, Nikov, teaming up well on this side. Unfortunate area to fight in. And yeah, it's a really rough area to fight in. I don't even know how this is going to turn out. Look at the total HP of the ships. It's not looking good for 200 kilograms. Kind of evening out a little bit. Both players dancing with the war galleys in front, trying to dodge ballistics. Nikov doing a pretty good job there. MBL clearing up some of this stuff from behind. And... I've got a lot of villagers selected. So that's influencing the total HP value. Let's see. Looks like outposts and fun. Gonna be clearing up that navy in the center. Buffalo is pushing too. True. Second town center for MBL. Still only one TC for Nikov. Still no longboats yet. And not a great fight for Nikov over here. Not great at all. If you have longboats, it's really easy to disengage from those type of fights. And there we go. He's going to add in longboats. War galleys have a lot more pathing issues than longboats do. So that's one huge advantage of going for them. Yo, Imperial Age. Yep. Yo's going to go in. And he might switch into fast fire. No bracer for Persians. So late game, super late game, Navy options for Persians, not the greatest. They do have fast fire. And Imperial Age doesn't look possible for either Nikov or MBL. Look at the food he goes for them. It's simply not there. However, yo, really stalling out his eco. Look at this wood line. Like, it's simply non-existent, right? He has to move all of his stuff back here. His ally might die. Fast fire is going to be very, very strong. But he's going to have to put all of his res into just simply researching it. Let alone getting more fires on the field. And Yo doesn't have the war galley numbers. Nikov's pushing in. Yo's trying to go for fires here. He's trying to get careening. How is he going to get the res for fast fire? They're dead. And now the TC from Bibi is being taken out. This is a YOLO Imperial Age here from Mr. Yo. I guess he saw the writing on the wall. If that is your real name. It is my real name. Thank you. Ice cream. 45 months. Appreciate you. Look at this. Vivi on, in full retreat mode. Nikov pushing in really aggressively into Yo's base. And MBL helping Nikov to finish off that TC and helping Nikov to clear all of these villagers here from Vivi. Vivi still has a navy of his own. MBL just clearing up a lot of the eco. Second town center. Coming in here from Nikov as Fast Fire is now in the queue for Mr. Yo, but Vivi just lost so much. Why don't they just dive Vivi TC and kill all the Eco? Because it's about Navy numbers here, dude. It's not about Villager numbers. Villager numbers matter, but you just saw it right there. Like, Yo stopped producing Navy, Vivi couldn't keep up on production, and then you lose everything. Pause. Bass, thank you for the 38. Handy, thank you for the 18. Blackrock, thank you for the uh, 9. Appreciate it. Hmm. 
demo, 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 demo. Would towers and heated shot help? Not really. You need a lot of towers. You need a lot of towers for it to make a difference. I like a guard tower with heated shot. Will like five shot, six shot a war galley, right? And then you think there's like 22 of them? We're getting word from Jassar. The world has stopped, he says. The world has stopped. We're not sure what sort of temporal distortion uh, Jassar is experiencing currently. Demonstrably better in all situations. But uh, we'll get it sorted out and we'll get back to you. DK the Hobbit, thank you for the 19 months. It's not stopped, it's stoked. Jassar says it's stoked. Okay. These are an issue. You can see the strength of fast fire here. Longboats are heading back here and oh, ho, 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 longboats, please sit here. Please just sit here. Vivi had to regroup. He's way behind this. But Nikov is retreating. He's not going in. Okay, now he is. Nikov's going in. Nikov is going in. What can he see? Right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Is there a path? There's a path! Just squeeze, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. Nick off! He's coming back. It could have been so good. Get into the wood line. Get in! Yo, trying to stop these longboats. Can only wall so far, though. They can always sail around. Right? And yo, also trying to push out this way with his fast fires. MBL trying to stop this from happening. MBL has a lot of gold. He's got some stone. He's got six demos now in response to these fires. And Nikov continues to kill villagers with these longboats at the back. He got also over here with some longboats. He needs to go up to Imp at some point, but it's kind of stuck in the Navy production. We'll see if Yo can carry this one back. Vivi's still in this game. He had 49 villagers, still has some war galleys, still providing a little bit of pressure, some distraction. Nikov comes in again with the longboats. Back to Yo Zico. 49 villagers for both. And the war galleys are back here. Nikov will go for another tower. Just to hide the villagers. Just places to hide his vills in. He's running out of space though. Vivi. YOLOing in here with his entire navy. Yo is still putting in work with this fast fire behind. Nikov still running around with these longboats on the side. And MBL trying to save up resources to go up to the Imperial Age as Vivi will lose all of this navy. That's all of his navy right now. Longboat still running around, still sniping villagers from both Vivi and from Yo. Demolition ships are here. We need big demo shots. Intergalactic demolition shots. He's only got fires. You could sneak in. Guard tower is on the way for Vivi. And Imperial Age is on the way for MBL, but he's having some issues here with fast fires. You can see how strong fast fires are in this situation. Incredibly powerful, right? 60 villagers only for MBL. Everything stalled out. MBL dropped? I don't see the GG coming in. Oh no. Oh no. I think he dropped. And they're still playing, and Yo's gone too.
1v1? <laughs> Question mark? Jassar, what's going on? We need Jassar. Only, this is why we have a correspondent on the ground. Only our eye in the sky, our, our man on the land. Only Jassar can let us know what just happened here. The world is stoked is the last thing we heard from him. Very concerning. And hopefully we can restore, restore that somehow. Hopefully. Hopefully we can restore that. Is Jassar here? At Jassar. Jassar is, Jassar is still around. We're getting word that Jassar is, in fact, still alive. Nope. We're, we're restoring, I think. I think we're restoring. They're back in the game room. Do they re if they can't restore? I don't know. This was... I'm assuming this is a restore because this was very quick for just a straight-up re. Wait, Vivi won that first game where he had like 20 vil- No, Vivi did not win that game. Vivi did not win that game. Yo won that game. Let's go, yo and Vivi. Oh, we're getting word. Communication's coming in. Jassar says, just a little storm, folks, on the water. Okay. A little bit of a weather disturbance. Low pressure front coming in. Jassar letting us know there's a little bit of a, a storm on the water. Fire in the sky. Jassar's still alive. Jassar's been through way worse, dude. Been through way worse. Can you use more nautically appropriate words while talking about boats? It's ruining my immersion. Instead of boats running away or sitting by, using use cruising away and anchored by. Thanks. All right, we'll go full fucking sailor here, all right? Getting back into the game. We are back. We are back into the game here. MBL is on the way up to Imperial Age. Fires. Still burning away. MBL attempting to chase. But fires taking out the war galleys one by one. And more fires are into the uh, stern of Nikov's economy. Uh, and he will need to counter that somehow. More fires coming from the starboard side of MBL Zico. Sailing in at a furious pace. Yo attempting to tack. To the port side. He's got bow forward. And the longboats are still dealing with these fire ships quite well. There is a castle in the center here for Mr. Yo. MBL. Getting to the Imperial Age, immediately going for fast fires of his own. And fast fires still killing villagers over here. Is Imperial Age a uh, potential for Nikov? No, right? He's only got three on food. He's just going to have to deal with this with longboats. And the longboats are doing enough. Also, longboat back here from Nikov gets cleared up by Yo. Yo is at 63 villagers. So Yo, with that fast Imperial Age, has managed to buy them a ton of time. Vivi now with 62 villagers. Kind of recovering, right? He's gone for extra TCs. MBL now has fast fires of his own. And he can push in. How many fast fires to kill a castle? Depends if you have murder holes. Could be one. Longboat's pushing out. 
We need fast fires in front, long boats behind. More towers here from Nikov. More towers here from Nikov. Needs to be careful. Could get flanked. I see fires sailing in. Port side, 15 knots. Yo, going for another castle. There's one here. He's got enough stone. He might be doing another castle. Vibby now coming in with demos. Love to see it. And Nikov just needs to get his food eco under control. I like that MBL is back here. This is exactly what MBL needs to do. He needs to send fires into the eco. Yo has been doing that the entire time. MBL needs to do the same. They're so tough to clear up. Does he have careening? He does. Cool. Just get it in on the wood line. The amount of times that they passed this wood line and haven't done anything. I understand this one, though. MBL just clicked these back here. And he's going to let them do their thing. You can see they're already clearing up bills. He always still back here as well with this fast fire. And these fast fires are so annoying. Another castle over here from Mr. Yo. Nikov, MBL, finally cleared it up. The Armada is now making its way back across the bog. And Yo is trying to clear up these raids. Demos. Get a villager back here. Make a talk. Send in the demos. Fires from MBL actually heading over here. And that's because Yo is doing the correct things. He's making a random dock over here. It's so annoying for Nikov. Yo also has random docks over here, which is incredibly annoying for MBL. Heated shot now coming in for Yo, which will help his castles as Nikov pushes in from this side. Beautiful box formation. Died docks for the raids. Yep, yeah, huge. Relic coming in from Mr. Yo over on this side. Villager does get cleared up, but the dock is still there. And it's a Persian dock, so it'll be alive for a very long time. And Nikov is still not up to him. Vivi still isn't up to him either. We haven't mentioned Vivi that much. This fire is being incredibly annoying towards MBL's eco. MBL has not made a vill in a very long time, it feels like. 62 villagers only. Only the first wood eco upgrade for him. His eco is pretty bad. But he does have 23 fast fires. As Vivi now attempts to go for the wall off on this side. More fires coming in over here. They're just they just never find the areas of Yo's eco that they need to, right? Feels like they're never there. But the fires are coming in, and the fires could clear the TC, potentially. However, there are demos behind this for Vivi. And MBL is very clearly busy in other areas, right? He's helping to clear this up. He's got stuff coming in over here. The Imperial Age is on the way for Nikov. And oh, there we go. I was complaining they never find the areas. He found the area. Lots of villagers dying, and MBL is over here with the fast fires too. So Yo is back down to 75 villagers once more. Another big wall off from Bibby. He's trying to do what he can, force everything into these castles from Yo. Buy them some time. Remember the situation they were in when Yo was going up to him? Really, really disgusting situation for them, right? Yo bought them a ton of time with the fast fires. Vivi's now trying to buy himself time to go up to Imp, and he's trying to buy Yo time to get the castles up. This dock is still back here, and Nikov's signaling that, like, bro. Ambi, come over here! Send fires! Another random dock on this side. Imperial Age will be brutal. This is what Nikov needed like five minutes ago, right? 
Bracer, Chemistry, Bob's Vinegar, Elite Longboat. Who's that co-casting with Dave? We have Jassar in with me. Imperial Agent Fenikov has to make sure he doesn't lose all his longboats. He's waiting for Elite. He didn't get Bracer immediately. He's waiting for Elite, and it's 50 seconds away. I don't think he has a heated shot. Yeah. I mean, he's only got watch towers, but still. Meanwhile, Vivi adding in another castle. MBL Zico is still super struggling. He never dealt with this stuff. I don't even know if he knows about this stuff. He does. And he's just constantly being raided. Has ha has not had enough stone to go for a castle. This is one demo away from being dead. And Elite Longboat is in. And now Nikov can focus on Bracer. But he's running into the fires. Nikov, 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 Nikov. He's trying to go through. Okay, Elite Longboat should be able to clear that up. And MBL abandons the gold. Vivi and Yo are just doing such a better job of setting themselves up for the late game. It feels like MBL and and Nikov are, are just reacting to everything that they see. They're not setting themselves up for success, right? They don't have a single castle between the two of them. And we've got three castles already. Fortified wall. Castle in the center here from Vivi. And remember, Vivi is Dravidians. Thericidae is a potential. Should probably be going for Thericidae right now, honestly. Heavy demolition ship from Yo. To deal with the fires from MBL. MBL finally gets that second wood upgrade. Another castle from Vivi. If there's a chance here for Nikov and MBL, it's going to be Elite Longboat, right? That's going to be the difference maker. It's going to be Elite Longboat. Also, I think Yo has a couple relics, right? He's got one relic. Okay. I'm just many as I thought. We need a castle from MBL, but he sold his stone again, I think. He made more towers or something. I think he sold his stone. Yeah, the MBL's selling his stone. Yikes. Harbors could be big here for him. It's time for MBL and Nikov to get their food eco under control. It's time for them to get their eco reboomed. Nikov is adding in some farms, which is that's a hell of a farm. But Yo is always here. He's just always here with units at the back of Nikov's base. Maybe I'll try to deal with this stuff. Yo. 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 That's fine. Sixty-four longboats for Nikov. Chemistry on the way. Does not have Bob's vinegar yet. And these longboats are frying. Like I said, this is the difference maker here. What is this? Citadels for the castles. From Persians. Interesting. Interesting. Didn't even remember that tech was a possibility. So we'll see the gunpowder or the bullets come out of these castles here. Citadels is almost in. What does it do? It gives them little bullets they can fire. 11 plus 6. See? And resistance to bonus damage. 
Is there resistance to bonus damage? Is that the secondary part of that? Another castle over here for Mr. Yo. Still has this stuff back here. Like, I love this. This is what makes Yo so great on maps like this. Like, Nikov has just been underreacting to this the entire time. They finally did chase away the initial villager, but now there's more. And Nikov and MBL only have one castle between the two of them. <gasps> that must didn't hit. That must didn't hit. MBL now with four cannon galleons. Cannon galleons, not just a unit against buildings anymore, can find really good value against plumped up naval units. And the longboats are flying. Both the castles. Gonna go down here. Yo, still got units back here. And like I said, if there's gonna be a difference maker, it's gonna be longboats. It's gonna be longboats. 120 military versus 46. Demos are coming in. Fires in front. Longboats retreating. And masonry trying to come in in the university. I don't know if that's going to happen. It's not. Nice. Good recovery here from MBL. And Nikov. Is the food eco there yet? Nope. It's not there yet. The Risidae from Vivi. Don't see any of them. Just galleons. And Yo is sending food to Vivi. For Shipwright. Maybe he's going to make a switch into Thrissidae once Shipwright is in. <gasps> Demos! Demo. Oh. Nice combination there of demos and fast fires from Mr. Yo. He's got another demo here. If he could get it into these stacked up longboats, could be big. MBL, cannon galleons behind. We'll be doing damage to the stacked up galleons. Still only galleons here for Vivi. No Thoristidae. And the fire ships are still harassing MBL on this side and MBL still does not have a castle he could get the harbors now they don't do that much damage but they help a lot but he doesn't have a castle he's been selling all of his stone if we go back fat far enough he's selling stone we're gonna have to sort through a lot of market stuff to get there though the Risidae added in Boarding's coming in. MBL really struggling. 74 villagers for him. Still only six on food. Still only the second wood upgrade. And Nikov, how many times have we looked back here to see fast fires from Mr. Yo raiding the eco? How many times have we looked over here to see fast fires from Mr. Yo raiding the eco? It's over, guys. Eco lead is strong. Military lead still in favor of MBL and Eco, but Yo just doesn't stop. He's insane. He's actually insane. Yo might be the best team game player on the planet. If you think about it. Like, of, he might be the best team game player of all time. Who else? Well, like, Viper would be up there. But, I mean, if you look at just what he can do. And how he can just, in, in so many instances, just comfortably take 1v2s. Or keep his team in, in the game for a very long time. 
It's just wild. And Vivi, I mean, I don't want to sell Vivi short because I think Vivi's made a wonderful recovery. And this is a great push from him with the towers and the castles and everything. And MBL calls the GG. Outposts and fun go down 3-0. A really convincing result here for 200 kilograms. And they look dangerous. Like a really strong team. And Yo is just going beast mode. Yo is him. Yo is absolutely him. Jinsu, thank you for the eight months. Vivi and Yo complement each other really nice. They have defined roles. I think the advantage that Vivi has over Lix is that he can get boomed back into the game faster and he can start contributing in Imp faster. The disadvantage he has over Lix is that he isn't as YOLO as Lix. So he won't hurt the opponents as much as Lix can. But even if he distracts them a little bit and gives Yo time, I mean, Yo is just insane. Yo killed the Castle Foundation, top right with demos. Hmm, yes, good plan. Build this castle with one villager. Yes, yes. Wonderful plan. Nothing could ever go wrong. He deleted it. Sick, dude. He deleted it before that. Nikov noticed that shit. I was right. No, you were wrong. <laughs> you were wrong. Nikov deleted it. <laughs> Didn't make a difference, but he did. Uh, I was right. Nope. Look at the eco from Yo. Insane. Absolutely insane. A hit on literally everything. He also sent another 3,000 resources to Vivi. And Nikov and MBL could never really expand their eco because Yo was always back here with villagers building docks as you should on this map. Make docks in the back. Send in the ships. The eco just was never in control for MBL and Nikov. Never, never, never. Damn, you can see that wall from space. Yeah, it's the Great Wall of China. Literally. All right. Three nothing. Convincing set. Dangerous looking team in Vivi and Yo. Sure, they'll be happy with that performance. Win for Persians, win for Dravidians, loss for Vikings. Loss for the Malay.